had monster trucks through to the most expensive and insane looking cars. And of course, those incredible stunts like the 360 degree loop, the loop. There is so much that goes on into putting a show like this on. We've got some incredible vehicles that are going to be out here any moment. So I've snuck in to find out what does exactly go into putting on a show of this scale. who's been a big part of this show for many a year is film stuntman extraordinaire Terry Grant. Johnny Herbert, absolute legend. I'm fangirling a little bit now, but hopefully playing it cool. Johnny, was I playing it cool? Or you were playing I'm it very cool, myself, very cool, totally very away. cool. <laughs> absolute pleasure to meet you. Now, you have been hosting the live action arena, which is jam-packed, adrenaline fueled It really is the place to be. First year presenting it, how's it gone for you? Yeah, it's been okay. So that's the rig now for our pro. She most recently competed in the W Series. She's been driving since she was just four years old and started competing at eight. She was the first female to win the Ginetta Junior Championship amongst many other accolades. And she got hands on with the Thrustmaster T818 Ferrari SF1000 bundle. It's Sarah Moore. Formula One has produced some epic cars over the years, from the four and a half litre engine beasts of the late 40s to the three and a half litre V12 screamers of the 80s and early 90s, right through to love them or hate them, the 1.6 litre turbo V6 engines of today. Welcome to day three here at Autosport International. It's the first day, hurrah, that it's been open to the public. Hurrah, the first time <laughs> in three years that we've all got together. Absolutely. And for the motorsport community, this really is the event that kicks off the season. It is. There's a real buzz here and today is your chance to take a look around and get some inspiration about things you can do to make your car really special or maybe even splash out on a supermodel of your own. So you said there as well earlier that um, you get that feeling as a racing driver through your bomb. So yes, you've got definitely. that through your setup, <laughs> which is, is great to hear. So Sarah, to sum it all up, how has your overall experience been? I've had a really good day trying out these new products. Excited to try and get hold of one myself. Excellent. There you go. Do a wink down the camera if anyone's watching. <laughs> she doesn't just want one. You need, need one, one, don't you? Exactly. She needs one. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. Now, if you want to get hold of your very own T818 SF1000 simulator. And finally, have you had a chance to go in the racing simulators? How do you think you'd fare against the girls then? Because we've got some really great drivers, haven't we? I think I'd be a disaster. <laughs> I wasn't very good in the real ones. <laughs> well, we'll try that out a little bit later on. Bob Fernley, thank you very much there for your insight. Almost time to get the girls down into the simulators for race two. But before we do, let's cross back to Lewis and Cameron again. I'm going to give you your shining moment to do more talking. Indeed, yeah. We started with 500 applicants from 27 countries, ranging from age 17 right through to age 73, all with very different reasons for taking part. Over the next two days, 150 women will be put through their paces to see if they've got what it takes to get through to the next stage. The ultimate end goal to be one of six will get the chance to race in a McLaren GT4. OK, and our winner for the boys, of course, winning that seat in the Rocket Formula 14. Put your hands together for Deegan Fairclough. Can we also say a big well done to everybody who made it, our 23 young people that made it to the finals. Let's have a round of applause for them as well, because they did fantastically well to be here. You've all been a part of history, dare I say, the very first rocket racing star, F4 Esports Competition UK. I'm sure it won't be the last. Hopefully we'll see you here next year. But for this year, we're all done. Thank you very much for joining us. We've had a fantastic time and we'll see you next year.